And we start this evening with one Tyler County man that is lucky to be alive after he caught himself on fire following a cooking accident. An ADT dispatcher and a team of first responders are credited for coming to the rescue just in the nick of time. For the first time, this man is coming face to face with the heroes who saved him. 12 News reporter Gloria Walker was there for this emotional reunion. Leticia, it was truly a celebration of life. And this man, John, says one message to all the people who helped him. Thank you. It was it was surreal because uh, it happened so fast. That 60 year old John Raymer of Woodville. He's lucky to be alive in April during a cooking accident. A canister of fuel exploded and he caught on fire and I threw it on the fire and it ran a fire trail straight past me in an instant and I turned to see what had happened and the can blew up. He stopped, dropped and rolled the flames out and did what he could think of next. Push the button for ADT to get help. Hello, this is ADT Home Health. Mr. Rammer, are you okay? Uh, no, sir. This is not a test. I caught myself on fire. I'm burnt pretty bad. Can you send an ambulance? Home is equipped with ADT security system, and with one push of a button, he was connected with a trained professional. Katie Money is the boss of the dispatcher who took Raymer's call. We do um, high-level training. Um, it's not just, you know, here's what we do, and you go on the phone the next day. It's um, usually a four- to five-week training where they um, hear life, you know, these type of calls that were played today, they'll hear those in the training and understand um, empathy is the biggest part of what we do. It took the ambulance just 20 minutes to arrive at Raymer's house. Fire Chief Mark Holcomb was one of the first to arrive on the scene. Great. It's a great feeling. Obviously, we don't do it for that. We do it just to serve because we care about our community and the people in it, and we're just happy to be able to serve and help the ones we can along the way. Raymer had a long road from the hospital bed to recovery, but he's alive and well, thanks to a team of people who knew what to do to save his life. And ADT did give a donation of $5,000 to the Dan B. Volunteer Fire Department here as a thank you for helping saving Raymer's life. Live in Woodville, Glory Walker, 12 News.